Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning and welcome to a new week. You know, this week you're going to need a lot of things. There are certain things you need. You recognize that you need them. But do you know what? There are other things that you need this week that you don't even know that you need. There's only one way to guarantee that every single thing you need this week will be provided for you. Whether you are where you need them or you're not even aware that you need them. The Lord tells us in Psalm 23 verse 1 that if we allow him to shepherd us this week, then he will ensure sure that everything we need will be provided. So let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for this new week. And Lord, the Bible declares that the Lord is my shepherd and I have all that I need. And so, Father, we ask you to shepherd us this week, Lord. We submit to your leading through your word, through your spirit, through your principles in the name of Jesus. We thank you that as we do this, every need that your people have let it be provided for them this week in jesus name amen peter was one of the major disciples of jesus and one day peter asked jesus a very very crucial question and that question i think is something we should all ask jesus what is that question well peter asked jesus he said we have left everything we have done everything we have followed your instructions we have been your disciples we have been your followers what's in it for us what are we going to gain what's the benefit of discipleship because there is actually the benefit of being a disciple of jesus well jesus actually replied nicely so let's see the conversation between peter and jesus in matthew chapter 19 verse 27 to 29 then answered peter and said unto him behold we have forsaken all and followed thee what shall we have thereof that is king james if you read it from nlt version he says we have given up everything to follow you what will we get so verse 28 the bible says and jesus said unto them verily i say unto you now note the word verily jesus was more or less swearing for lack of a better word he was saying i assure you or i am telling you with 100 percent guarantee that's the word verily means like is a stamp is like an assurance it's almost like the person is swearing so jesus comes and he says verily i say unto you that ye which have followed me that's those of you who have been my disciples he said they which have followed me in the regeneration when the son of man shall sit upon his throne of glory you shall sit upon 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of israel and everyone that has forsaken houses brethren sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life now this is very comforting if you are on that journey of discipleship with the lord because jesus promised and made a vow he said there is a benefit for being my follower there is a benefit of being my disciple now of course if you are saved you're born again you're a baby christian you don't know too much in the lord about the lord or you even have been in church for a long time there is a certain benefit for you but then if you make up your mind to be a disciple there is another major your benefit that you have that just somebody who is just starting his journey with the lord or somebody who is not so committed to the lord is going to have so jesus was telling them he said number one you who have been my followers when i am exalted in glory that is in the millennium he said you people are going to also be exalted you will not be forgotten he said but even here in this life you are going to inherit things that I am going to bless you because you are my disciple. You know the best person that can bless you is God because God knows what you need, when you need, and the quantity at which you need it. The Bible said that the blessings of God, it make it rich and it does not add any sorrow. That's in Proverbs 10, 22, because there are certain blessings that bring sorrow with it. But the one that the Lord by himself blesses you, the Bible said there will be no sorrow 
added or attached to it because the man that is blessing you is God. And God will not give you something that will take your heart away from him. Neither will God give you something, you know, that is going to make you responsible or make you proud or whatever. God will give you what you need, when you need it, the quantity at which you need it, and you will be so blessed by receiving that blessing. So it is very, very crucial you understand that God is a rewarder. He will reward you both in time and in eternity. You know, if you work for somebody or not, there is just so much he can pay you. He can't guarantee you a lot of things. Your employer might love you with all his heart, might be grateful with all his heart, but there are just some things he cannot do. He can't pay you for your time. He really can't pay you for your life. But you see, Jesus, he never forgets. Any single thing you do for Jesus, he never ever forgets. And he has the capacity to bless you back because you're too, you know, small for God to owe you. Anytime you deposit something in the kingdom of heaven, anything you deposit something to God. He can't owe you. He will always do something back in response. If you read from Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10, I read it from the Passion Translation of the Bible. He says, for God, the faithful one, is not unfair. How can he forget the work you have done for him? He remembers the love you demonstrate as you continually serve his beloved ones for the glory of his name. So the Bible says that God will not forget you have a God. One of his titles is that he is a rewarder. He rewards disciples. There is a benefit both in time and in eternity. Let's read that same Hebrews 6 10 from the New Living Translation. He says, For God is not unjust. Meaning that if God does not reward you, what it means is that God is unjust. So the Bible says, For God is not unjust. He will not forget how hard you have worked for him and how you have shown your love to him by caring for other believers as you still do. If I were you, I would go out of my way to begin to serve the Lord, to begin to care for believers, to begin to advance the kingdom of God because the Bible is saying here that God never forgets. Can you imagine that God will have you in his mind? Not just generally like the whole world, people who don't even care about him. Of course, he has a compartment in his heart for that. But there is something about this person that is burning out his life, burning out his time and energy for the advancement of the kingdom of God. God will never forget. You will be primary in the heart and in the mind of God and he will definitely repay. This is one of the benefits of being a disciple. You can't quantify it, both in time and in eternity. What does it mean to be a disciple? If you follow that devotional this whole month, you already know what it is. It is simply denying yourself. In other words, denying your own ways and following the ways of Jesus no matter what it's going to cost you. No matter what you're going to lose, even if it's at the cost of your own life, you give it up just because you want the kingdom of God to advance. And when you begin to do that, the Bible says God will set you up for a permanent blessing both in time and in eternity. Thank you for listening. God bless you as you have an amazing week ahead. For other life-changing messages, you can now download the app Rev or Yeek Speaks from Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users. You can also follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Telegram, all on the handle Oyeeks Alfred.